here we are in Falls Creek. Here's my room, we've all checked in. And I've got my own little balcony, which is nice if I wanna see how the weather is. Chairlift here, which we can ski down to, which is really nice. The ski in, ski out place, which is a must. Gotta be ski in, ski out. While I'm unpacking, I thought I'd take this opportunity to show you guys my ski jacket. The brand is Picture. They had limited sizes, but whenever I get any kind of winter jackets, I pretty much always get a large. But this actually fits me really well because I'm so tall, I do always have to size up for the length and the shoulders and all that. So, some more little like info. I don't know, you guys can pause to read if you're like interested in jackets. <laughs> I don't know. Got all the good features, so many pockets. I love the neon pink accents. And underarm air vents are a must. You gotta have those. Stand up on that one. Mm -hmm. I wanna feel your toe just touching the end. Oh my gosh, oh, it's so pretty, that helmet. I want it, oh. The gray one's nice too. Yeah, oh, it's so pretty. Wow, they're both really nice. Just got back from getting our gear fitted and I thought I'd show you guys the view from the balcony. It's so, oh, it's so peaceful. a good one. <laughs> so satisfying to break off. Oh, yes. We found the False Creek mascot, Pete the Dragon. Wow, they've got a lot of Pete the Dragon merch. Those snowflakes, can you see them? Big fluffy ones, I think that's working. Hey guys, it's present day Sophie here. I forgot to mention this in the vlog, but I've been skiing since around age seven and snowboarding since I was about 11 or 12. My ski ability was around intermediate level and I was even able to ski black diamond runs. However, I haven't been back on the slopes for many years. So this ski trip was all about getting my legs back as they say and improving my technique. I didn't have enough time to get back into snowboarding this trip, so that will be next time. You can read more about my skiing history in my new blog post linked in the description. Now back into the vlog. I'm about to get ready for the day and I thought I'd show you guys what I pack in my ski jacket. So here I've got my snacks. I've got some little sweet treats here just for a sugar hit when I need it. I've got these Yum Earth organic sour twists. Yum Earth do loads of gelatin free sweets. And then I've got some of these pomegranate and nectarine flavored chewy fruities. They're kind of like vegan Starburst. They're really nice. I've got this spiced apple cider pack, which I might have up on the mountain. I might just ask for a cup of hot water and then drink that. And then I've got these crunchy roasted fava beans, this Freedom Foods apple cinnamon muesli bar. What else? I've got my phone charger fully charged up, my spare battery for my vlogging camera, my SPF 50 lip balm. Then I've just got this gum. It's really helpful if you go on the Wrigley Australia New Zealand website. They have a full list of all their vegan products. So I've got some of those. And then lastly, I've just got this little eyebrow spoolie and comb because when you're taking your goggles on and off and your helmet and all that stuff your eyebrows tend to just go all over the place even if you use an eyebrow gel which I have discovered so I also have like a goggle scraper sometimes they bring a handkerchief and other little things like that. I picked up some new gloves yesterday as well. These are by Hestra. I really like this brand and it's also the same brand as my previous pair, but they were just getting so wet and even though they were dry on the inside, my hands were freezing. So I was well overdue for an upgrade and I made sure I got leather free ones. There was actually a lot of leather free options and they feel super thick and cozy and they've got this little pouch for you to put your hand warmer, really easy adjustable strap. So I'm gonna give these a try today. Oh, okay. Let's... Hey guys, okay, so finally, my skiing outfit of the day. I can show you what I wear at the snow. 
Let's see if the exposure is looking good. Starting underneath, I have my thermals. Then I've got this quarter zip fleece by The North Face. These pants are by SOS. These are actually my mum's old pants from quite a long time ago and they're still in amazing condition and they actually fit me perfectly. They are a true high-waisted pant which they don't make anymore so they are super 90s and now they are like actually really current which is funny because you'd think they'd make high-waisted pants these days but they don't. So I'm like really excited to have these. I'm never gonna get rid of them. I've got this lanyard on, which is where I keep my phone. And then I actually um, tuck my phone when I'm not using it, like into this internal pocket. So I have it sitting here so it's not just hanging. But the lanyard means I can use my phone on the ski lift and not have to worry about it falling. It is also detachable. So rather than taking the lanyard off my head, I just detach it from this part. And then um, I can just use my phone and I can reattach it to the lanyard. Um, I just got this on eBay. My neck warmer is by XTM. It's just a plain black fleece neck warmer. I plaited my hair. I did try two plaits on either side, but it just doesn't work with the helmet. So I like to do a plait and then put it down the back of my neck. And then the most exciting part, my new ski jacket, which I absolutely love. Let me step back. Sorry, my room looks so messy. I had to move all these cords around to get the heater in the right place and it's a total mess, but at least you can see my outfit. And that is my skiing outfit. Here's my helmet. It's just a rental, just a plain black one. And my goggles, which are by Anon. I just got really basic kind of like, just more affordable ones for this trip. I might upgrade to like the rimless ones later. I'll just show my goggles on my head. Not the helmet, but gives you a better idea. Time to go skiing. We just stopped for a break and we're having a late kind of snack slash lunch, I guess. And I got this loaded fries with sriracha mayo, which um, their sriracha mayo is vegan by default, which is fun. So now I'm gonna dig into this. Oh, and I also got a lemon, lime and bitters. So thought I would show you my outfit of the night. Apologies for the mess in the background. I'm wearing this kind of uh, like a cream knit top and I've got a black thermal top underneath my monogram necklace. And then I'm wearing these shorts, which I've had for so long, kind of like a little skirt. And then I've got two layers of tights and then my snow boots. Oh yeah, and then I've got my faux fur headband and that's about it. And look how like rosy my cheeks are from the snow. I love it, so great. I don't have to put any blush on. Oh, here's my jacket, faux fur of course. You guys don't need to worry. It's actually navy blue. It's not showing up very well on camera. Hey guys, so visibility is awful today, as you may be able to see behind me. So we are not going skiing yet. I'm just gonna go for a wander and I thought I would show you my outfit. Oh yeah, not only is the visibility bad, it's also freezing and there's like 40 kilometer an hour winds up the top of the mountain or something. Hmm. I'm wearing this faux fur hat. The top part is knitted and then it has this thick faux fur band around here. And then my turtleneck is by Brandy Melville and I have it tucked in 
to um, a bunch of tights and thermals layered and then I've got these little shorts on. Um, this knit top is, I don't even remember, this is super old but it's like a little crop knit top that I've had for like five or six years. And then I put my hair in plaits and I'm wearing my snow boots. These are faux fur as well obviously and they're also pretty old. I think I've had these for maybe five or six years as well. And yeah, sorry about all the ugly cords everywhere. I've been doing very minimal makeup, as you might be able to see. And I've been using the Anastasia Dip Brow because it really sticks super well. And my eyebrows do look a little bit darker than normal because I think it is a bit of a darker blonde color. It also looks a little bit more kind of yellowy on camera, unfortunately. So that is about it. We're going to go for a wander and I will take you guys along. Oh my gosh, just like wooden. Look at all the old logos. I think I remember this one. That one looks familiar too. We're going on a little expedition to go relight the lantern. I saw a snow bunny. I mean, I don't know if it's a snow bunny, but I saw a bunny in the snow. It was a brown bunny. And it was right near that pole. I saw it from the window. So we've stopped for a little break. It's pretty noisy. I don't know um, how this audio is going to turn out, but I got jacket potatoes and then my dad got apple pie. Just went on the Pommer. actually a bunny? Yeah. It's definitely a bunny. Yeah, it looks like a little coconut with ears. It's not a bunny? So here is my outfit of the night for dinner. We had a successful day, well, a pretty good day skiing. As good as we could do for the conditions. I seriously love the dip brow. It just like sticks so well. Like that's all day skiing and like crazy conditions. I'm wearing this ASOS turtleneck ribbed dress. It's just a little stretchy A-line dress. And then I've got a black fitted long sleeve top under it, my monogram necklace and tights and boots. And then I just have to put on my jacket. So we just sat down for dinner at the food store and I wanted to order a mocktail, but the server said they didn't have any. So she recommended me this drink that she called the princess drink. And I don't remember what it is. It's some kind of cordial with like lemon, squash, and then lime. Yeah, I think that's it. And it just looks really cool. So I thought I'd show you guys before I probably end up mixing it up.
Say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> I'm here with Jenny. <laughs> We're on a lesson. And we've been down. She's very good. <laughs> so. So, are we going to this challenge? Yep. Okay, so just down to where we were before. so beautiful it never gets old lighting looking hey guys so today I had another private lesson yeah just really working on improving my parallel skiing technique today we did a little bit of this but we also did this really long blue run pommer we also did this run through the trees here and this is where all the little windy jump trails were and it snowed so much but anything else I need to mention however my eyebrows guys I know I keep talking about this but my eyebrows are still <laughs> completely intact. Oh, how nice is that? <laughs> <laughs> Great progress. This only took us like 10 minutes. We just have to do the head. Oh, the head's here. 